Hello my dear students welcome to this session myself Ratnavali Limaye from accounting and finance department and in today's session we are going to learn mutual funds and bond valuation from the syllabus of TYBcom accounting finance semester 5 uh, let us first know what is the mutual fund mutual fund is a trust that pools the savings of a number of investors who share a common financial goal uh, it is basically suitable for those investors, uh, those who invest in very small, small amounts and or rather who are having a certain fear regarding the investment in stock market or who do not have much knowledge about those investments, but they want to invest in the securities of the stock market. So for such investors, this type of investment is suitable. A mutual fund is the most suitable investment for a common man as it offers an opportunity to invest in a diversified and professionally managed basket of securities and at a relatively lower cost. Uh, this is a benefit uh, for a common man that mutual funds are professionally managed. So for those investors who do not have the knowledge or rather uh, who have the fear in their mind, uh, for them it is a suitable and uh, relatively lower cost uh, type investment if we go through the technical definition of the mutual funds the SEBI mutual fund regulation 1993 defines a mutual fund as a fund established in the form of a trust by a sponsor to raise monies by the trustee through the sale of units of the uh, to the public under one or more schemes for investing in securities in accordance with these regulations. Uh, some terms are important here like a trust. Mutual fund is basically a trust. Um, it is established by the sponsor. Uh, the main function of this trust is to collect the monies from the general public in the small small amounts and then those small amounts collected together will form a huge funds and then those funds will be invested uh, in so many different investment uh, opportunities available uh, those securities uh, will generate the returns and then those returns will be uh, given back to the investors this is the basic idea behind the concept of mutual funds if we go through the history and origin then it started in the year 1963 uh, when there had been the establishment of UTI, Unit Trust of India. Uh, it was the initiative from the government of India and with the help of RBI, Reserve Bank of India, there had been the establishment of UTI. Uh, they had certain schemes through which the small amounts of money uh, had been collected from the people and then invested in uh, the good opportunities, uh, some securities. Um, basically in those times uh, we can see here the uh, time frame 1964 to 1987 this was the first phase uh, in the Indian mutual fund industries uh, so basically in those times the people were having fear to invest uh, in the securities or in the stock market uh, basically they were having the traditional uh, concepts of investing like uh, investing in gold or investing in real estate or other such options uh, which were safe comparatively safer as compared to the investment in stock market securities so uh, that's why this had been the initiative from the government of india uh, after the establishment of that uti it started collecting the front funds in the small amounts from the people and uh, in return of that they started giving the units uh, to those unit holders the concept gradually uh, became popular among the people and then people started knowing much about uh, this uh, UTI and uh, investment in the mutual funds and gradually uh, the people started investing in the units of UTI. Uh, in those times there had been uh, the complete monopoly of UTI in the first phase uh, up to the year 1987. Afterwards as there was gradually 
a good response from the people for this investment there had been the entry of public sector funds uh, from the year 1987 till the year 1993 this second phase was going on uh, during this second phase there had been the entry of some public sector funds like uh, bank of india fund gic mutual fund uh union bank mutual fund canara bank mutual funds and other such mutual funds were there they took entry in this mutual fund market in india uh there was also a good response and because of the entry of such uh, public sector funds uh more options had been created as initially there was only uh the monopoly of uti uh now there were more options available for the public to have uh some more schemes uh, or uh, to gain the competitive advantage after that in the third phase third phase started in 1993 and it lasted up to 1996 there had been the entry of private sector funds also so because of that entry uh, there were com- uh, there were too much competition among those funds and people started getting uh so many different options uh and so many different schemes to invest in mutual funds now as there were so many uh different uh, mutual funds uh, the need was felt to have a certain authority to control or to regulate the business of these mutual funds so afterwards in the year 1996 uh some sebi regulations uh, had been uh, established so the growth of mutual fund and under sebi regulations that had been uh, the fourth phase in this mutual fund industry in india after that in the year 1999 to 2004 there had been the emergence of a large and uniform industry uh, in this mutual fund industry in india and afterwards the next phase started from the year 2004 to the current period that is a consolidation and growth phase uh, in today's world we can see we can uh, hear or we can watch so many advertisements on that mutual fund we have heard that line many times that mutual fund sahi hai nowadays we uh, have started feeling much more importance of saving some amount and investing it in the uh, mutual funds uh, so this is basically the stage of consolidation and growth which is still going on the chart also explains the same six phases initial phase 1964 to 87 entry of public sector phase that was the second phase from 1987 to 93 then 93 to 2004 entry of private sector and then 2004 to present that is a consolidation and growth phase this is how the mutual fund operations uh, flow chart how the funds flow from uh, one party to the other uh, or one investment option to the other at initial stage there are the investors uh, from the investors uh, out of their savings uh, they invest in the mutual funds there are the fund managers who are the professionals or the experts who manage the funds collected by these mutual funds those funds will be invested in the securities then uh, the returns will be generated on the securities and those returns will be passed back to the investors in the mutual funds so this cycle shows us that how funds are flowing from one party to the other and how these are giving returns to the investors uh these are some of the advantages of mutual funds uh, very first one is professional investment management is there mm. as i have said earlier that uh many people even in today's world today's india also they want to invest in the stock market securities but because of the lack of knowledge or because of uh, some conservative attitude or because of the fear in their mind regarding uh, the investment in stock market or maybe they do not have the time to take knowledge about such investments they prefer to invest in mutual funds as mutual funds are managed by the professionals then portfolio diversification is also there uh, there is one principle followed uh, in these mutual funds like 
don't put all your eggs in the same basket it means don't put all your funds in only one option instead divide those funds in the other different options so if there is a loss from one investment option that can be compensated by the good returns from the other option this is what is followed by the portfolio diversification concept and this is followed by the mutual funds then because of that portfolio diversification uh, the attempts are made to minimize the risk as far as possible plus there is an administrative convenience also plus it is managed at a lower cost the expense ratio is very lower in uh, as compared to the other investment options then higher returns are also possible in case of mutual fund investment uh, this is mainly because if we invest in the securities stock market securities by applying our own knowledge sometimes we may go wrong or uh, our judgment might go wrong but in case if we invest in the mutual funds then because of the professional management of funds there is always a possibility of getting higher returns plus liquidity factor is also there some liquid funds are there in which we can any time whenever the need arises we can withdraw the funds from such liquid mutual funds transparency is maintained at maximum possible level plus there is a safety of funds also as the mutual funds are highly regulated uh, plus economies of scale is also uh, possible in case of the mutual fund investment flexible investment schemes are available uh, each investor while investing in the mutual fund is having his own perspective behind that investment uh, some investor might be saving or might be investing for providing for his child education some might be saving the amount for his own marriage or the child uh, child's marriage or some might be uh, investing for creating a fund for purchasing of house or purchasing a car or any such different purpose might be there different perspective and according to those perspective the different flexible schemes are available in the mutual fund industry plus some mutual funds are tax efficient also just for the purpose of tax saving some mutual funds uh, schemes work then it starts with a very small amount uh, this is what is suitable for even a common man uh, or from uh, or from the people of any income level uh, this form of investment is very suitable because uh, investment in mutual funds starts with a very small amount just like hardly rupees 500 this is such a small amount that anyone can save and anyone can invest so the investment in mutual fund can be started with a very small amount uh, and that's why it is possible to reach to more and more population of india that that is why uh, this mutual fund industry is becoming more and more popular and plus it is simple to invest in mutual fund from the investors point of view because they do not have to apply much knowledge or much judgment while investing in the mutual funds uh, applying the knowledge part is uh, on the part of the fund managers investors just have to put their funds in the good uh, investment schemes and that's why it is simple on the part of the investors next thing is there are some disadvantages also that there is no guarantee of return uh, even though there are high re, uh, even though there are high regulations still there is no guarantee of return because the mutual funds are also investing in the equities uh, where there is no such guarantee on the return so in those cases those mutual funds who invest in the equities there is no guarantee returns are fluctuating in those uh, mutual fund schemes plus there are some other risk also like net asset risk default risk liquidity risk uh, there might be the loss of control sometimes because of the bigger size of the business inefficiency of cash reserves might be felt sometimes B uh, just because of too many choices available sometimes the choice of investment also may go wrong and evaluating the funds that also becomes a tedious task sometimes so these many are the disadvantages but as compared to the advantages there are very less number of disadvantages then there comes classification of mutual fund on different basis the classification of mutual funds is done on the basis of organizing structure uh, there are some open ended schemes close ended schemes then 
on the basis of market market based uh, some equity funds are there balanced funds are there debt or bond funds are there and on the basis of market capitalization there are large cap mid cap or small cap funds let us just discuss in short one by one by structure there are open ended and close ended mutual fund schemes in case of open ended as the name itself is suggesting we can invest any time and plus we can withdraw the amount any time uh, as the name is suggesting it is open ended scheme close ended schemes are open for a particular time period and within that time period the investors can invest uh, so this is on the basis of structure then market based classification gives us three options like equity debt and balanced funds in case of equity funds there are growth funds growth funds basically uh, emphasize on the capital appreciation part so um, those people who invest in lump sum and wait for the capital to appreciate for a longer term for them such type of investments are suitable diversified equity funds are there then index funds are there uh, who directly invest in the indexes and some are sector funds who invest uh, the funds in a particular sector or particular industry then a uh, balance funds is a mixture uh, they invest some part of the amount in the equities and some are in the bonds or debt funds and debt funds uh, are classified into income funds money market funds gilt funds and fmps fmp means fixed maturity plans uh, income funds are mainly suitable for those investors uh, who are cautious type of investors who normally prefer the steady and regular incomes they are not ready to take much risk so for them such income funds are suitable as these funds invest in the government bonds or debentures or other such securities uh, who normally give the regular returns then some money market funds are also there money market funds means those who are uh, which are for the very small time period which might be for overnight funds and up to 90 days or maximum up to 1 year uh, gilt funds uh, are those funds they invest in the uh, government securities uh, like government bonds or debentures or other such securities those are suitable mainly for the cautious investors who prefer to get the steady returns or regular returns and fmps are fixed maturity plans those are uh, for the fixed term those are normally for the some number of months up to a certain few number of years and lastly on the basis of market capitalization uh, there are certain funds who invest their funds in the companies who are having a large amount of capital those are large cap funds some are mid cap funds those funds which invest in the securities of the mid cap companies and the small cap funds are there those who invest in the securities of the small cap there are certain other basis of classification also just like domestic or offshore or uh, etfs or even sips uh, systematic investment plans those are also very popular among the indian uh, people and nowadays this mutual fund industry has uh, grown many fold and even it has a bright future in the future coming years also so this is all about the today's session i hope you have understood the concepts i have uh, explained here so thank you very much for your attention thank you so much